Folks, Abel Gonzalez here. You're watching A is for Abel. Today is a very special episode. We are doing the very first one day DIY build, a do it yourself. Okay, so a few things about this episode today. One, I totally screwed up. One of the files got corrupted and the entire portion of me building the desk went down the shitter. Um, two, towards the end of it, I was totally out of frame. You gotta notice that towards the end of the video. And three, I just wanna plug in my very good friend, Janice's podcast, Two Wild and Nerdy Girls. Her and her friend, Ro, uh, they talk a bunch of stuff um, within the realm of geeky, nerdy, sci-fi, comic books, video games, all that ton of stuff. Plus, the episode I'm going to have linked in the description, I'm one of the guest hosts. So give it a like, give it a follow. Um, you could find it on Spotify. You could find it on um, Apple Music. And you can also find it on Anchor. So give it a give it a give it a listen to Wild and Nerdy Girls. So now I gotta go back to um I gotta edit this this mess. Bye. So we're at the Lowe's of Lake Nona. We're gonna go in, we're gonna buy some wood. And for what you may ask, well let me tell you, we're gonna build a work desk. I'll be working from home soon, and I really want a little workspace area. And I figure instead of buying the desk, like desks are like crazy expensive. They're like hundreds, like a hundred twenty dollars, and they're, they're they're like way too big or way too small. So I figured, you know what? I could probably build a desk for about sixty bucks and do it the way that I like it, like the way that would work for me and the way that would work for the space that I'm going to be using. So, yeah, let's head into Lowe's. Let's look at some different types of wood, and we'll build a desk so yeah I'm pretty excited all right so i see some wood over here but unfortunately it's blocked right now um let's see i could go for some pine over here it looks like this is some two by eights but that's a bit long so i'm gonna wait till they're done stocking this and then we'll see what we could do. In the meantime, I'll browse around. This is exactly what I need. Uh, I think I'm gonna buy like, two of these. Maybe I'll buy three. Sand them down, stain them, glue them together, and then the desk will be pretty much halfway done. All right, guys, ready to go in my garage. Workbench is right behind me. All right, guys, in my garage, ready to get this desk built. Workspace is right behind me. Um, let's get this scene and frame here. So here's the the pine that we bought at Lowe's. Let's oh, let me see. Here's the pine that we bought at Lowe's. We're going to be cutting this down to size using this Craftsman uh, saw um, and a few other things that I'll show you. But before we get started, guys, safety is of the utmost importance. So if you're going to be doing this, make sure that you're being safe. Make sure that you're being careful and use uh, safety goggles because nobody wants to get hurt. Anyways, let me show you what tools you're going to need to get this desk built. All right, so we're going to be needing this handheld circular saw. We're going to be needing some... Safety goggles, you're going to need a marking pen. Um, I would highly recommend using a measuring tape. Um, you're going to need some gum. You're going to need uh, wood glue. You're going to need some wood filler. 
You're going to need one of these uh, electronic doodads. This is very important. Um, you're going to need a leveler. Um, but most importantly, you're going to need a small leveler. You're going to need a medium-sized leveler. And then you also need, like, a really big leveler. Um, this is going to set your DIY on a whole other level. Um, some other stuff that you're going to be needing for this DIY is a... Let's see, where is it at? Um, it's this Puerto Rican flag Bluetooth speaker. This is very, very important. You're also going to be needing a flathead screwdriver and a uh, sonic screwdriver. Am I missing anything? Oh, yeah. And then you're also going to be needing, like, um, like just, like, a handful of nut and bolts to get this party started. And last but not least... You're going to need a spray bottle. Oh, shit. You're going to need a spray bottle filled with water. And this is highly important. And I'll tell you exactly why you need this spray bottle um, once we get closer to the end. So let's start cutting. All right, guys, we got our wood cut to size, ready to go. Now we just got to do one thing, and we're going to go ahead and spray it with water. We're going to leave it overnight, and then by tomorrow morning, everything should, you know, do science stuff, and we'll have a fully grown desk. So let's just go get this a good spray. Good spray here. Good spray. We really want to get this uh, spray in really good. Um, let me show you a, a whole other angle that might be better for you guys. So we want to get this nice and wet. We really want to rub the water in there. The better um, soaked it is, then the better chances of us having a sturdy desk will be. Yep, so just soak. You see this motion I'm doing? Left to right, left to right, left to right. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's what you want to do. That's very, very important. And then you want to just rub in a clockwise. And then when you flip it over, um, obviously, you want to go counterclockwise. Make sure you get all those edges right. So uh, this is just regular tap water. You can use um, filtered water, distilled water. You can use any water you want. The nice thing is that, you know, you could just go to your faucet and just pour in water as much as you want, which is the nice thing. You don't have to go out and buy water. Um, and then just, like I said, just keep on spraying here, and then we're good to go. All right. So now that we've got our wood soaked fully with water. What we're going to do is we're going to just leave this on the ground and wait overnight. Um, hopefully by tomorrow morning, um, the water has soaked into the board and, you know, photosynthesis science shit happens and we'll have a fully grown work desk. So um, I guess we'll be patient and wait till tomorrow. All right. We'll see what happens. So here's the desk. I gotta say the pine grew overnight quite nicely. Uh, the color that we chose is amazing. Um, I'm really happy how the legs grew overnight. Sometimes it's kind of tricky if you don't add enough water. But all in all, I am very, very, very happy with the results, and I can't wait to put a computer on here and start working. Well, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. 
This was my very first DIY project, and I'm glad you guys got to witness the experience. It was so much fun building my office desk out of wood using my hands and tools. Uh, if you liked it, click like, and if you haven't done so, please... And, ooh.